Palestinian voices not being on American television or in American print is one of the biggest problems when it comes to our coverage of this conflict. When we talk about why the media is structurally biased towards one party in this conflict, the more powerful party, the occupier, we have to remember that this is one of the reasons. Why, why are Palestinians dehumanized in our media? This is one of the reasons. If we don't let people speak, uh, that's what leads to dehumanization. We understand it at home when it comes to, for example, black voices. In recent years, media organizations have tried to take steps to improve diversity on air. When it comes to on-air talent, when it comes to on-air guests, when it comes to balancing panels, we get that we need underrepresented communities to be able to speak. But when it comes to foreign conflicts, we still don't seem to have made that calculation. We deny these people a voice. And then we wonder why people don't sympathize with their plight or don't, aren't you know, marching in the streets. Well, they are marching in the streets, but in bigger numbers. Why America is OK and kind of, you know, blind to the fact that we are complicit in the genocide of these people? Because we don't hear from these people.